Hey there, this is Sean. In this video, I'm gonna go over Unreal Camera Shake, and I'm gonna show three ways of implementing it through the sequencer, the actor, and the player blueprints. Now, I'm gonna paste this overview in the notes below if you wanna to skip to one of these specific sections. I'll show uses and combinations of different ways you could implement Camera Shake. I'll show how to create it. I'll go over the key parameters, rapid results testing, implementation through the blueprints and through the sequencer. So let's jump in and get started. So here we are in Unreal and I'm just going to quickly walk through this demo level. I've got cinematic shake where you trigger a cinematic and you can see the camera in the cinematic is shaking a little bit. I've also got a this is could be a platform like a bus or a trolley and you're sort of going along and shaking You've got an explosion based shake uh, high frequency shake in the cold <laughs> i'm cold i'm shivering and here's a shake as if you were drunk whoa okay that's enough all right so let's go over how we can implement some of this. Oh, finally, there's one shake in the character blueprint, right? This is sort of the first one I learned, which was shake that's being triggered by firing the gun. All right, let's go in and create a shake source actor. So you can specify where you want your shake to happen by a location, or you can apply a shake directly on like the pawn. And I'll show both ways to do this. Now, the first node that I'm gonna create is a blueprint class and you go under all classes, type shake, and I'm gonna create a shake source actor. So go and click this, we'll call this BP shake source two. And if we drag that into the scene, you can see there's this icon that shows the location and there's an inner and outer attenuation. But without this, there's no specified camera animation. And so what I'm gonna do is create another blueprint class and we'll type shake again. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to choose one of the matinee camera shakes. Now this is a, it's noted as a legacy type of tool. So what I'm wondering is there gonna be a new uh, shake class that will be implemented. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out for that. As of Unreal 4.26, this is a, a way of doing it. So we'll call this, call this for the shake tutorial. So now if we have this still selected, if we open this up, you can see that I can plug this in. And this, if I double click on it, will have the parameters. And so we, what we've got here are a bunch of parameters and by default, it looks a little complicated, but if you start closing these down, we can simplify it and go over the options we've got here. We've got the duration, it's how long it's gonna play. And then you can blend in times. And then you've got the oscillation parameters. Now a, there's amplitude and frequency. And I think the easiest way to understand amplitude and frequency is I'm going to just pull up this wave on a string and we can dial in amplitude and frequency. So amplitude is how much it would be going up and down. And frequency is how often, right? So you can um, make it very frequent. Um, then there's also damping as well, which is kind of like attenuation, right? It's how, how far out will this reach? Okay, so this kind of helps understand in a two-dimensional sense. And I think it's really useful for understanding these vocabulary words. All right, so let's stop that and go back. In addition, dialing in these pieces of information, I'm gonna pull up one instead of dialing in all the informations, I will just pull in the camera blast information here. 
So here, let's see, camera blast right here, the first one. So here's all the information I've dialed in. Now, like lighting, I would recommend doing these kind of one at a time to see what impact each of these has on the visuals. Now, they've made it a lot easier to prototype in Unreal 4.25 and, and beyond. There's a, a shake visualizer. And to get that, you can go to Window, Camera Shake Previewer. So here's the camera shakes I have in my scene. But you also need to make sure that you can see camera shake in your scene. And we do that by going here, Allow Camera Shakes. You have to have those all turned on. Now, when you select one of these, we can play selected in the viewport. And if we go back away from the object, you can see that the attenuation from this is, is it's beyond where it would be affecting us. So if we get really close and test it, we'll really get impacted. Or you can even play all. So those are all the shakes in the nearby area playing at once. So those are really, this is a really useful way of prototyping your uh, shakes. But it just helps to understand each of the components as well. So now let's show how to get shake working in the character. Then we'll show shake in the, the sequencer. So on the character, I just went into the first person blueprint and under the spawn projectile at the end here, I created a play world camera shake node. And it's going to need, just like the other ones, it's going to need the additional class that you create. And so I dropped in just a gun shake that I made. And then also you're gonna need a location and that's where the character is typically. And so uh, we just got the character's location, get actor location and just dragged it in there. and. You're all set. So now uh, the final thing would be um, sequencer shake. So if we go in here and in the sequencer, let's open that up. So I hit Control E, and we have got our cameras on here, and now we want to add shake to one of these cameras. So what you would want to do is then you select. This is the rig. I want to select the camera. And then if you click on the track, you can see that there's the option to add one of these camera shakes to the camera. So that's a way of implementing it. And so we can, we can test it and see that it's our, it, it does the shake. There it is. All right, great. Finally, I just wanted to say that you can have some sort of shake that is looping so there's different ways of doing this, presumably. So uh, here is a trigger volume, and here's the shake class. And you can do things like, I, I in this case, I just said while the character's in here, um, keep playing that shake. I did this just for simplicity's sake. I did this in the uh, level blueprint, although I think if this was um, something that I wanted to use multiple times, I would just make an actor blueprint. Here is the, you know, if, if you imagine that's a train, I just said, okay, when the character steps into the, the trigger volume, I set up a, a flag that said they're on the train and start the shake. And then if they're still on the train, continue. So this, you might wanna keep this delay to you know how long that the shake might take. All right. Well, that pretty much covers it, but that'll wrap things up. We'll see you in the next video.